Hi, I'm Peter MacArthur and I'm eight years old. For my Robogale Science Challenge, I have chosen to research hovercrafts. They're an all-terrain vehicle. My challenge is to build a hovercraft and then test it on land and then on water. I want to find out if it goes faster on land or on water. A hovercraft, air cushion vehicle or ACV is a type of vehicle that can glide easily over any surface. It can also hover, as its name suggests. They are designed to travel over water, land, ice and even snow. To build my hovercraft, I used a foam cup, a large foam meat tray, two 9 volt batteries, some wires and a hamburger box. To create my hovercraft, I made a 3 inch hole in the foam tray. I then stuck the motor on. To create the seal, I cut my hamburger box in half, then stuck one half on top of the hole. I connected the wires and the battery clip and the power switch. I connected the completed motor onto the hover craft space. I then attached the battery to direct the air the right way and assist with the thrust. I created an, an exhaust using half of a styrofoam cup. After this, I had finished my completed hovercraft. Now that I have completed building my hovercraft, the next step, and the fun part, is testing. I have measured out 3 metres and will proceed to test how long it takes for my hovercraft to reach the finish line. I will measure this in metres per second. Here is one of my trials on land. Here is one of my trials on water. Whilst testing, I recorded the results into a table. It shows how long it took the hovercraft to travel 3 metres on land then on water. After finding the speed and the average speed, I decided to go more in depth by calculating the velocity. This can be seen in the table recorded in meters per second. This bar graph shows that the velocity of the hovercraft on land is more consistent and twice as fast than on water. Now that I have finished conducting and analysing my experiments, I found that my hovercraft went faster on land than on water, as the average on land was 0.93 metres per second, whereas on water it was 0.41 metres per second. This is because on land, the air is trapped underneath the skirt, creating a vacuum air cushion, whereas in water, the water will absorb some of this air, making it so that the thruster motor has to work harder and it has to use more energy to hover and less on the thrust. I found it harder to steer my hovercraft due to the displacement of air over water, causing the hovercraft to turn whilst it is consistent on land. So in conclusion, I've learned that hovercrafts go faster on land than in water. I've also learned that hard work pays off. It was an incredible opportunity to not only have fun building a hovercraft, but to learn about the science behind these incredible machines. I participated in this challenge because I love science and engineering, and I really wanted something fun to do. I believe that other girls should also participate in this challenge, as it is fun, it challenges the mind, and it's the way of the future. I've had so much fun doing this challenge, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching it. Thanks to RoboGirls for these challenges, I can't wait to see more.